everyone, for today's Halloween video we're going to be making little pom-pom pumpkins and pom-pom spiders. To make these you're going to need wool in the colour of either orange for pumpkins or black for spiders and obviously you can do other colours if you want, some cardboard like a cereal box, some googly eyes, preferably the ones that have a little bit of sticky backing on them, and then some pipe cleaners. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a circle within a circle on some cardboard. So for this I've used a cereal bowl for the outside circle and then I've just used a little plastic container I have on hand for the inside circle. So it doesn't need to be perfectly in the centre, just try to get it as close to the middle as you can. Once you have your circles made you can then fold the cardboard over on top of itself and then start to cut out the circles. So the reason you're folding over the cardboard is because you want two of these circles all together. So I'm just going to call them rings from now on because it's a little bit easier. Uh, so you're going to want to cut around the outer ring and then you've got two individual circles and then hold them on top of each other while you make a hole in the middle circle and then use that to cut outwards so that you can remove the inside one, leaving you just with two similarly sized and shaped outside rings. The thickness of the ring is what decides the size of the pom-pom in the end. So for this one, it's not going to be a very big pom-pom because the ring is actually fairly narrow. But unfortunately what happened was I videoed all of this and uh, I lost the footage. So I had to start all over again. So this is a new ring which is a little bit thicker. Take a bunch of wool and what you're going to do is you're going to tie both the rings together uh, in one spot. And then after that what you're going to do is you're just going to wrap the wool around and around and around all the way around the ring. So try to make it as neat as possible just like uh, starting at one end and going all the way around in a single circle. Uh, you don't really want to be just sort of crossing it higgledy-piggledy all over the place because your pom-pom is going to come out really uneven. Um, and then you just keep doing this until your entire ring is full. If the wool piece you chose to use is not long enough, you can just tie on more wool to it. Knots won't cause any sort of hassliness whatsoever. And if they do, then you can just find them again later and cut them out. So once your ring is full, you're going to cut off a strip of wool that's longer than the outside of the ring is wide, so longer than the circumference, just so you can use that to tie the pom-pom all together. This is the kind of tricky part, so if you're younger and you're doing this, you might want to use an adult's hands just because they're bigger. It'll be a bit easier for them to do. So what you're going to do is, because you've got two rings, you're going to put the scissors between the two layers of cardboard when you can. Sometimes you need to cut some of the wool on top just to make a gap big enough. But you're going to put the scissors between the two layers of cardboard and you're going to very carefully go all the way around and cut off the wool. So you're going to cut a, a hole or sorry you're going to cut the ends of the wool so that it goes up either side and using your hand in the middle press down so the wool doesn't go flying around the place. So you want to keep it in roughly the the circle shape it's in at the moment just so it doesn't go all weird and crooked. So this is where this is where the big hand would uh, would be very handy. Hey hey, I'll show myself out. Once all the pieces of wool have been cut, you're then going to take the piece of string that you cut earlier and you're going to put it between the two layers of cardboard all the way around. So you don't want to hit the wool in the middle just yet because you're going to make it go crooked like you can see I accidentally did a little bit here. But you're going to put it around as much as you can and then what you're going to do is you're going to lift the top layer of cardboard and you're going to tie a knot and secure that wool in place. So you can tie a little sort of a, a slip lot or a slip knot or a noose and when you lift up the top piece of cardboard you're going to just slide it into place to secure the pom-pom. Make sure not to tighten the knot all the way just yet because it's a pumpkin you're going to want it to have a stem so you're going to take a green pipe cleaner and you're going to try put it in the middle without disrupting all the all the wool which is a little bit difficult. Uh, you might need to spread it around to try and get a hole. Then you're going to tighten the string, pull it out and then just sort of hold one edge so you can put the string as close to the middle as possible. Make sure to curl up the end of the uh, pipe cleaner so that it doesn't, um, it doesn't fall off. You're just going to curl it upwards and out so that it doesn't, uh, so it loops around the, the piece of wool that you're putting on right now and that way it'll just, it'll have enough grip that it won't fall off. So very carefully slide down the uh, noose piece so that it's roughly halfway through the wool and then when you're when you're happy with where it is you can then pull it tight entirely and you have got your pom-pom. Something I like to do that you don't have to do is I like to just curl the uh, pipe cleaner up a little bit so it's more like a uh, 
it's it's more like a little curly stem because I just think it's cute. But again, you do not have to. Uh, any loose pieces of wool you can just pull out and then the long piece of uh, string that you're using to tie all of it together, you can just cut off at the length of the rest of the pom-pom. Now, if you feel like some of it's a little bit long, like at the very bottom there, you can see some of my wool is longer than the other. You can just trim that to make it the right shape. Then all you have to do is give him two little googly eyes and you've got your little pumpkin and he is adorable. Next, I'm going to show the uh, spider one. So just if, if you don't like spiders, you can you can stop watching now. I, I don't want to spook someone. It is just wool, but just just in case. So for the spider one, it's the exact same, but you use black wool and once you have your uh, wool in place that you've already cut around the edge and you're ready to go, you're going to take four pipe cleaners and you're going to put the entire long pieces of pipe cleaner through the middle of them so that when you tighten them, you can bend them out the sides to make them into little legs. So once again, you can trim around the middle if there's some pieces of wool that are longer than the others. And if you do more and more layers of wool all the way around, then obviously you're going to have a, a much um, a much denser pom pom. Um, and, and you don't have to do black pipe cleaners, obviously. I just decided I wanted to do blue ones because I thought they looked cool. And um, definitely nothing to do with the fact that my packet of pipe cleaners didn't have any black ones in them. Definitely not that. Give him some eyes and there you go. You have a pumpkin and a spider pom-pom thing. And they're just, I don't know, they're just cute. I, I know they're really bad looking, but they're cute bad. They're, they're, they're that kind of like, I'm going to pack bond with this because it's my friend now kind of bad. And um, yeah, I think it's great. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next Halloween video.